Hello my friends my name is Mohammad Navid and in this lecture I am going to teach you type menu in Adobe Illustrator so what basically type menu is type menu is basically for type or text let's suppose if I take a type tool for example with the help of type tool if I write something here if I as I have written here a uh, Navid place okay uh, so let's suppose if I want to change the font or style or size so with the help of type menu I can do how see first I will select this text then I will go in type menu and the first is font let's suppose if you want to change the font style let's suppose if you want the area style if you want the a font style any area style you like for example if it is also showing you preview as well so let's suppose if you want style like this just simply click on this and as you can see that now I have this style getting me so in order to change the font style uh, we need to go in type and definitely we need to come in font and definitely here we have all the options of font what do we have next we have recent fonts definitely it will show you recent fonts right now uh, I use uh, you can say AR definitely this uh, you, uh, font I use and before I use Arial so let's suppose if I want to use again Arial so what I do I will just simply click on Arial and as you can see that now I have this font getting me so uh, recent font will show the recent fonts and here we have the option called uh, option called size let's suppose if you want to change the size if you want to change the size let's suppose uh, if you want to change the if you say 14 as you can see that the the size of our tag has been changed second way to change the size is by uh, selection tool so what I do I will first select my text then I will click on selection tool and definitely if I zoom in a little bit so that you can see selection tool and here you can see that I have a handles you know I have handles so what I do I will just simply click and drag and with the help of these handles I can uh, you can say uh, change the size of my text getting me so with the help of uh, size definitely I can change the size getting me and uh, what do we have next we have uh, convert to area type so what basically area type area type is actually an area type tool here we have the option or here we have tool area type tool area type tool basically works on shapes so let's suppose if I have rectangle and if I change the color of my rectangle and if I change my stroke size or because color and now if I go and if I take area type tool and if I click on this object you can see that now it is giving me no error but in the place of this if I click anywhere so now it's giving me error because it's asking that I want any shape so definitely here we have rectangle that's why not giving us error so what I do I will click on this uh, rectangle and here I will say Navid place.com okay so what is our work actually first definitely area type tool works on shape and second is that if I change the size of this shape so definitely as you can see is also changing the text as well actually the half text came you get me so definitely is also changing the text getting me so this is the work of area type tool so if I have uh, you can say normal text if I select this text because I use uh, a type tool so let's suppose if I if I have this text and if I want to convert this text to you can say area type tool definitely I can do getting me so first I will select this and I will remove this delete and then I will select this and I will go again and here we have the option called convert to area type getting me so definitely if you want to convert this normal text to uh, area type you can do then we, what do we have we have area type options so let's suppose if I am using area type area type tool and if uh, let's suppose if I want to get the options so I have two ways to get the option the first way is uh, just simply click on area type tool and double click on it and definitely uh, it will show you the option for this I will do zo zoom uh, uh, control Z to go back because I had uh, object so if I double click on it as you can see that now showing me area type options getting me the first way is double click on area type definitely uh, options that it will show you the options or second way is go in type and here we have the option called area type options getting me so we can get the options of area type tool then what do we have next we have type on a, or type on a path so what basically type on a path is so first I select this delete and I will definitely take a path and uh, I will say no color and as you can see that right now I have a path okay so let's suppose if I want to write my text or if I want to type my text on on this path so how can I type let's see I will go in toolbox and then I will click on type on type on a path tool or I can also use type on a path options okay so what I do first I will take a 
uh, type on a path and uh, I will click on it as you can see that now I am uh, typing on a path getting me and uh, if I select this and if I go in type so here I have option called type on a path so let's suppose if I want to get the gravity option as you can see that now showing me something like this getting me so actually type on a path is basically the option of type on a path tool getting me so here we have skewed 3d ribbon gravity definitely it will show you something like this get is the option of type on a path tool uh, then we have the uh, definitely font, find font let's suppose if I want to find font let's suppose as you can see that now right now I have too many fonts and let's suppose my, my, my teacher told me that Navid go and find Arial black so if I will find here so it will take a lot of time so if I click on find find uh, you can say find font so with the help of find font I have I've, I, I can find the font getting me and it's also showing me that which font I have used getting me so if I select this and uh, if I select this text and uh, if I go in type and if I click on uh, find font let's suppose if I uh, let's suppose uh, uh, this file has been given to me uh, you can say has been given to me okay and I don't know that which font has been used okay so what I do I will I will first select this text or definitely this text and then I will go in type and then I will click on find font so it will show me that which font has been used as you can see the, as you can see they showing me that Arial Arial font has been used getting me so it will show you the name of the font has been used getting me uh, then what do we have next uh, we have change case let's suppose if I have this text and if I want to change the change case how can I change first I will select this text then I will go in type menu and then I will go in change case so here we have three op four options the first is uppercase so if I say uppercase as you can see the Navid and A B double E D all are in capital so let's suppose if you want the capital uh, just go in chain case and click on uppercase it will show you uppercase and if you say uh, lowercase so that, as you can see that now all the characters are in lower getting you and uh, if I go again if I say title case so as you can see that this title because this is the first uh, alphabet that's why it's capital getting me uh, now if I first select this and if I say uh, sentence case so in the sentence case as you can see that n is capital and c is capital getting me so in the sentence case it will capital like this getting me. Uh, definitely here then we have the option called smart punctuation let's suppose if you want to get the punctuation like this definitely we can do it's not very useful uh, then what do we have next we have show hidden characters so it will show hidden characters if i just simply click on it as you can see they now showing me hash definitely we cannot see we cannot see this character but let's suppose if you want to see a hidden character so you can you can see here if you click on hidden characters it will show you hidden characters last what do we have we have a uh, type orientation so first I will select my text then I will go in type so here we have two options horizontal and vertical so horizontal is like this and if I say vertical so vertical will be like this uh, in order to see properly uh, I will zoom out so zoom out little bit okay and definitely zoom out zoom out zoom out and I'm using zoom but it's not working properly okay it's fine okay so here I will say Navid okay and uh, I have select this text and then I will go in type uh, definitely here we have two option type orientation this is horizontal and if I say vertical so vertical will be like this okay so vertical will be like this if I select this go and vertical so as you can see that now showing me something like this. getting me Navid it is it's coming vertically okay so this is vertical and definitely before it was horizontal so horizontal is like this and vertical will become like this okay so in this lecture what have, what have we learned we have learned type or you can say menu in Adobe Illustrator I hope you've understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplace.com Allah Hafiz and I will meet you in the next video till then Allah Hafiz